Hey there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing three uh, videos for the day and this is the last episode. As you can see, I have two very re latest releases in this one video. This is going to be an update video. I'm going to let you know my updates on both these fragrances. So it will be convenient for people who wanted to see an upgrade, uh, an upgrade, update, right? So one is Rasasi Hawa's Eyes, other one is Kamra Kawa. Um, I reviewed our initial impression. I have done both of them and they got really massive views like Hawa size I was the very first one to do uh, so was this these two are my like you can say exclusive okay uh, I think even Kamra I think I did first from Bangladesh Hawas no not not me many other people I think this one the credit goes to perfume guru Nikhil Bhai uh, he's the one who made me look at it he put like very <laughs> interesting uh, thumbnail which really got me intrigued Hawas and he put like Bollywood theme or something on that but it was a great fragrance, great experience. So original Hawas and Kamra both were top sellers as well. Uh, so are these. So I'll give you an update what's happening with the sales, prices, uh, what to expect. I have seen reviews popping up. Different people have different opinion. Uh, I will say a few words that might come out harsh, but I will say them nonetheless. Because uh, when I do work, I work seriously. Okay. Uh, no BS. Okay. Uh, if you, uh, let's say, okay, let's before I discuss review or in-depth, let me tell you a few things, okay? Uh, this is the part where it may get a little bit harsh. Uh, I hope everybody has their own opinion. This is just my opinion, right? So I noticed there are two kind of uh, viewers or reviewers on net. Some of the viewers, they just love uh, to see anything new. They want to see everything new review, like latest, Joy by review this, or uh, Bro Joy, review this in brand new release. They don't care if it's good or bad. They just want review. And then some of the people, like this is the second category, they... Uh, want to hate everything okay i'll tell you they don't want to buy anything they just want a review that says it's pass and that to them is honesty uh in my humble opinion honesty it you you there's no way of knowing if someone is honest or not whoever you know but is the reviews and then based on experience if they don't match that could still mean it's honest but it was maybe not to your taste okay so some people want to give a verdict that they're absolutely right someone else is wrong i never do that okay i said to my to me in my world this is this good bad okay sometimes it's really good because i do spend money to buy perfumes i don't get anything for free and i do buy the ones that i love okay keep that in mind some people uh, receive fragrances some reviewers receive fragrances from certain uh, page website or company and they are uh, told to promote okay so sometimes if a favorable review comes like 10 out of 10 i liked it some people automatically guess like it's for um, uh, let's say promotion only no not necessarily some fragrance you may love you know some fragrances may not be 10 out of 10 i do mention in my reviews for performance but i still give them 10 because i love it so much uh, this is what i love to do so there are reviewers who uh, do give very brutal honest reviews which are the best for sure like mark is one of them i really love his reviews sometimes he doesn't like he gives it like pass hard pass sometimes if he loves something he gives it really really good love so those reviews are good but uh, if you do independent reviews, honesty is one thing that people look for. And uh, most people who are happy, uh, if it's a solid release, let's say 10 reviewers out of uh, 15, they said it's good. And it's high likely for it's going to be uh, decent. Okay. But in the end, you are the judge. Do not blind buy fragrances based on reviews. Also, do not believe people who say it's a pass, don't buy it. It's, it's a total uh, BS. Okay. I don't really feel uh, that is also a good thing to do why because if let's say you want to get attention by saying something is negative some people are not really critics they want to do some anti reviews to get more popular in the eyes of uh, certain uh, viewers like you know, those viewers are not going to buy anything that's honestly speaking like these fragrances are being sold you know i'm talking a lot but hear this okay these fragrances are being sold out and being ordered i have information both these new ones the old ones they are selling like hotcakes uh, hardly you can buy uh, or find any ready stock they're just being producing producing asad a camera many of the other ones uh cd name the new ones so uh, if something is selling like hotcakes there must be something different and special so keep that in mind let's get into the review after four minutes of a little bit of a rant uh, because i believe that some people just want attention uh, by saying something negative based on like let's say oh this reviewer said this uh, overhyped or this is so good but it's not the case i mean do your own thing guys you know don't need to pull reference of other reviewers if you're convincing enough you can make people buy fragrances or also convince them that it's not that good perhaps in end of the day 
money belongs to people customers okay they will decide what to buy it's not us influencers okay but uh yeah uh, that's something i just want to leave it out there uh, you guys can pass the messages to the right parties so how are size okay i gave it a very very high score because i love it so much but i did say it's overpriced and it that it is it's much more significantly ex expensive than original hawas so i did say value wise original hawas is better so that was my review but smell wise i prefer this when you wear this when you actually own a perfume do not give reviews if you don't own a perfume okay or based on one spray that is utterly a uh, horrible thing to do because that is not a review if you don't own both bottles do not compare do not leave a wise comment like oh this fragrance is not so good or this is like super nice it can be uh, told if you own both and wore them for significant time then you can see the difference there are a lot of difference between these two uh, this one is beast mode okay at first i said the original house is beast and better performer than this i notice uh, this one actually sometimes surpasses original house for performance because house now is a little bit old and perhaps they watered down i'm not sure but i never got watered down house it's pretty good longevity but this is more sweet um the citrus mint whatever is in there it just works okay so this one projects more original more than hawas hawas size okay so i think if the price is like like not like that 100 dollars mark and if it goes down to something like 60 65 i think that's a good buy okay because at this current rate the world uh, dollar rate ua dubai you know the the currency rate fragrances are not going to get any cheaper in future just write it down at least for the next year or so fragrance gonna just continue to be expensive but uh if you can get this 60 65 dollars it's a good buy okay there you go end of story great fragrance very different than hawas in terms of opening dry down definitely is similar but not the same fragrance more and more you wear this one will show you it's a different uh take on hawas but definitely it's a cousin of hawas so this one is still a champ definitely a solid release no doubt about it coming to camera original camera man um i uh, uh, actually like this fragrance but i think it's a little bit different than angel share um angel share was much more sweeter you know boozy uh, this one has some salty accords to it like a salt caramel sort of a chocolatey vibe um you can say on the dry down this smells similar but not more than 75 percent so this is not a straight up clone of angel share but same family okay it's a good gourmand toffee fragrance so if you like fragrance like armani stronger with you this and that yeah, this is gonna be right up your alley but kamra kawa i absolutely you know what you smell if you love that's it that's love for you i love it more than this okay that's it this is a good fragrance definitely no doubt about it people are smelling it buying it and i hardly see anywhere people are complaining about it okay um <clears throat> if you're wondering if this is redundant to get uh, if you already have camera no this is not redundant this one you know like why is it getting bashing you know i don't understand if you have seen designer fragrances niche fragrances they have sometimes very little difference in the like let's say uh, flankers okay one fragrance let's say like lamal or uh, let's say lamal uh, popayo fresh there are differences but the dry down are similar because the same dna right so there are a lot of fragrances armani code code profumo code absolute you will find differences like between one to two notes and that's what makes a flanker sometimes if exact same fragrance they could be called redundant i do not see personally why this one could be redundant if you already have this they're both nice fragrance you can layer them you can buy them and try them and the thing is it's not super expensive also i mean if you're moaning about the price i mean like this is gonna be like getting so expensive and all that yeah it's a brand new release brand new releases if you know already as a reviewer or as a buyer all latest fragrances are expensive if you bought uh, lamal elixir it's going to be much more expensive than lamal right yes so if you can wait you know in future prices may go down but when it's a brand new release and uh, you know currency rates are high and your currency is down the shipping charge is high everything in the world designers we just go and check out the retail pricing compared to those middle eastern fragrances are giving great deals even at full retail i mean how was perhaps not hundred dollars worth but uh, kamra kawa i think is being sold under 40 dollars i mean uh, if you have an issue buying this then i'm pretty sure you're not buying that many fragrances you know i'm sorry to say if you're not buying fragrance if you're not a collector then passing judgment is you know i mean it's irrelevant sorry to say i mean if you're not a collector and tell people do not buy this do not buy that i mean people will be like oh okay i'm confused you know uh, so to all those people be fair 
to us, to all those people who say the same thing, like opposite thing. You don't have to listen to either party. You have to listen to your instinct. Go to the shop. You don't even have to buy a sample. Go to the shop where they have a sample or a tester. Spray it on you. Okay. Or if you cannot do that, just buy a very small decant or a sample. I'm pretty sure people in the areas, they are already decanting this. And you decide on a full bottle. If you feel it's a pass, you pass. It's your call, right? End of the day, my uh, my own update on these two. Uh, if you know my review, I am not going to say the, either of these are bad release, okay? But if you are that person that you don't want, like like so many flankers, you just want one. Let's say one original Hawass and Kamra. Great. Thumbs up, man. You don't need to get these two because you are not that kind of a collector. But if you are a collector and if you love the original, like let's say you love Lanui Delon, then you have Blue Electric. People do that, right? Uh, can you tell people, hey, that's redundant, bro. Uh, I don't need to get. When it's a designer or it's a niche, then people say nothing. Aventus, Aventus Cologne, Aventus Absolute, Aventus For Her, it's all good. So when it comes down to Middle Eastern brands, I see some people try to look down upon on fragrance brands, and that is sad. Quality-wise, these are better quality than many designer fragrance with very weak performance. Keep Kamra Kawa in your collection for a year or so. I finish with this note. Someone said, if this fragrance... I." I read a comment. It says, if a fragrance has to be macerated or just let it uh, uh, you know, develop in the collection for uh, one year or so, it's of poor quality. Wrong. Okay? My experience of thousands of fragrances, wrong. Fragrances get, on most part, stronger with time. They become intense. Imagine your Savage 2020. Uh, Back in the time when it was released, it, people say, hey, it's, it's not as good as 2016 or so. But now, people want that you know, my bottle is right there somewhere. People want that over my 200 ml bottle. That is 2022 release or one. See, years do make a difference, right? So if you leave a fragrance in your collection like Diorum Intense, I have newer batches. I mean, I use it fresh new. It was a little bit thinner. And after one year or two years, it's becoming stronger. So it cannot be concluded that Middle Eastern fragrance of cheap quality, designers of higher quality. Uh, do you guys know that what mainstream designers do? After a fragrance become popular, they after two years, everybody knows this. They just uh, like water down the perfumes if they do not discontinue. If they don't sell, they discontinue them, and then you know they bring something new. But on most part, after two years or so, two years or so, fragrance become weaker because they put less oil. Sometimes prices go high. I don't want to mention any brand, but those are done by mainstream designers and niche. So I feel there is a little bit of a complex. Like some people don't want to admit that oh my aventus is better but you know the the cd name is not better because it's a cheap clone sometimes cd name performs more gets complimented gets noticed they are stronger and cheaper some people cannot live with that right so these are some things can be a rant but uh in all seriousness in the end <clears throat> no need to buy anything uh, you're blind by and do not blame reviewers when they hype something and it gets viewed and it gets sold out Man, this is success, you know, for the companies when they sell out. That means it's getting popularity. People have interest in it. So there are a lot more people who have interest in perfumes who are willing to buy. Um, just uh, read comments on Fragrantica. Some people <laughs> uh, write reviews before a fragrance is released. So those people, you need to know. You need to avoid those people. They are no good for the community. I'm sorry to say they are just uh, trolls. They buy nothing. And they just want people to buy nothing as well. Okay. So, yeah. Use your common sense. Use your <laughs> instincts. If you feel uh, this is my decision not to buy, it's your decision. But don't let people to tell you what to do. Okay. Uh, there you go. Hawa Size and Kamra Kawa. Both are excellent. Excellent releases. Selling like hotcakes. Sample them. If you like them, then only buy them. Okay. There you go. Update on both popular perfumes. Take care. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.